Okay, we are going to solve practice problem 6.3 from Sadiku book. And this is the question. We are asked to find the voltage across a capacitor. And we are given the function of the current over time. And remember that this is in milliampere, so we will need to do some conversion. And the capacitance of the capacitor is 100 microfarad. When we are given at t is equal to 1 millisecond, t is equal to 5 millisecond, and v0 is equal to 0. Okay, to calculate that, we need to uh, use the current and voltage relationship of capacitor, which is I is equal to C dV over dt, but we are asked about voltage, so we need to manipulate this a bit. So we will have this formula here. That is 1 over C integral of I in respect to T. So we just need to plug this, the value of these problems into this formula. Okay, let's do that. So I will have V, the voltage will be 1 over the C is 100. But that is microfarad, so we need to multiply it by 10 to the minus 6. And then we have integral. We have integral of this function. 10 sine 120 pi t. And remember that this is in milliampere. So we need to multiply this by 10 to the minus 3 to get it into ampere. So we will have, let's put it here. So 1 multiplied by 10 minus 3. Okay, now what can we do here? We simplify this. So we will have 10 to the minus 4 in the denominator. So we will have 10, yeah, this part become 10, and integral of 50 sine 120 pi t dt. And I can, I can take out this constant outside and multiply it by this 10, so I will have 500. We have 500 in this integral. So I will have V as a function of time is 500 divided by 120 pi from this and then cosine 120 pi t. And remember that Integral of sine have negative sign, so I will have minus here. And do not forget that we have some integration constant. Okay, I will name the integration constant C1, not to confuse with C. So this is capacitance and this is integration constant. Okay, so now we need to get rid of this integration constant. We need to find the value of it. Okay, so let's plug that V0 is equal to 0. And by plugging 0 to this cosine, we will have 1. So I will have minus 100 divided by 120 pi cosine zero which is equal to one plus c one is equal to zero okay so this is one and i will have the value of c one is 500 divided by 120 pi so we can substitute this C1 into this original equation. So I will have Vt is minus 500 
divided by 120 pi sine not sine that is cosine 120 pi t plus 500 divided by 120 pi okay this is for vt but we are not finished yet so we need to plug this value here into this function so this is one millisecond and five millisecond and remember that we need t in second so we need to do some conversion again so this will be 10 to the minus 3 and this will be 5 to multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 second so for t is equal to 1 millisecond so I will have that 1 millisecond plug in let's write it here and that will be the easiest way is just use calculator so I will have minus 500 divided by 120 pi cosine 120 pi and then t is what is it 10 to the 10 to the minus 3 and then plus 500 divided by 120 pi okay I think this is in radian so I will need to change my calculator into radian but how to do it uh, I think this is okay that is radian no Ah, okay, that is that is radian. Okay, then I will have that value. So we just need to plug this 10 to the minus 3 into this function and I will have 0 0.09 0 3 1 volt or let's make it here or we can rewrite this at millivolt which is 93.14 millivolt okay now the second is for 5 millisecond we just need to plug this into this the same as one millisecond but with this value so i will have v 5 to the minus 3 we will have okay the easiest way is just use calculator so let's just plug that 5 and Okay, that five. Okay, and I will have one point seven three six four. And this is the value for one millisecond, and this is the value for five millisecond. So hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.